today we're going to be showing you how to make a dog jersey or dog jacket, whichever term you prefer. And what you're going to need is a little tailor's cardboard or ordinary cardboard. And if you don't have either, perhaps you could use newspaper to draw your pattern on. You will need a tailor's measuring tape. You will need a ruler. You're going to need sewing notions, a pen, a scissors, and obviously fabric such as this arctic fleece or polar fleece fabric to make your jersey out of and then a little rib trim which is a stretchy knitted fabric to trim your, your jersey. The first step is to measure your dog from his neck to just in front of his hind legs. Then take a note of that measurement and draw a line on your cardboard from the beginning of that point to the end. My dog is 30 centimeters long so I have drawn a 30 centimeter long line. Then I'm going to add 2 centimeters at the top for ease at the neck and 4 centimeters for ease at the base. The next step is to measure how far away his forelegs are from his neck. Take the measurement and then add that to your pattern. This is the area from the dog's neck to his forelegs, which on my dog is 7 centimeters long. You're then going to measure the diameter around the dog, the circumfer circumference of your jersey, right around the dog behind his forelegs, and you're going to measure the same distance just in front of his back legs. Then you draw that from the foreleg point that you have marked down in a straight line, at a right angle and from that edge you add an extra two centimeters for ease at the base. So for the area at your dog's forelegs you're going to divide the diameter that you've measured in half and you're going to add two centimeters at the base. For the diameter at the back legs, that's in front of the back legs, you're going to use half that distance plus two centimeters at the edge. Now we're going to create the gap or the circular area for your dog's leg. You're going to measure from the area that you pinpointed the beginning of your dog's forelegs straight down at a right angle to your pattern. The measurement from the back, middle back of your dog to the beginning of his foreleg. You're then going to take the measurement of your dog's leg from the beginning of the leg straight across his middle to the back of his leg. Draw that dimension on your pattern. Then mark halfway across and draw that dimension again at right angles to your pattern and make a circular area around that. That is the radius of the circle that your dog's leg needs to fit through. The neck area at the front of your pattern is the diameter of your dog's neck divided by 2. Obviously there again you add your 2 centimeters as we discussed before. Now what you're going to do is you're going to join that point there to the beginning point of the underside of the garment, which is at the front legs of your dog, to the area at the back, and you're going to create a little flap where you've added your extra four centimeters, which is going to hang over the back of your dog behind his legs. Add a suitable seam allowance to your entire pattern right around your pattern, obviously not where you're going to place it to the fold, and the same at the circular area you've cut out around your dog's legs. Now, take this pattern and measure it against your dog. Put his leg through the hole and test to see that it is going to fit your dog before you cut anything out. I can see that this is going to fit my dog perfectly. Fold your fabric sufficiently to fit your pattern onto your material and then mark off your pattern with either tailor's chalk or a disappearing pen. Then cut out your fabric. You're going to need a half a centimeter seam allowance if you're going to be using an overlocker and I suggest a one and a half centimeter seam allowance if you're using a straight sewing machine. 
Stitch your jersey together from the top to the bottom edge, leaving the neck open and leaving your back flap open. Now it's time to add your trim, your rib trim to your dog jacket. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure the circumference of the neck area, the circumference of the base and the leg area. Remove six centimeters from those measurements if you're using a lycra type rib trim like this and four centimeters if you're using a nylon rib trim. Then what you're going to do is fold them in half. You're going to sew it together at the side forming a circle forming a circle and then you're going to fold that in half going to fold it in half and attach it to your jersey. Now the correct way to attach the rib trim to the garment is as I've said fold it in half then from your sewn edge, the edge that is sewn together which is going to match with the back seam, measure halfway across the midpoint and the same with the jacket and then start your stitching at that point and go round to match that seam with this seam and close. The finished product, it didn't take more than 20 minutes to make this jacket and my dog is going to be extra warm and cozy in this marvelous polar fleece when the cold weather hits. For the rib trim you're going to need to make it about 8 centimeters for the neck and for the base and about 4 centimeters around the legs. For a bigger dog I would make it six centimeters, say for a medium sized dog, six centimeters around the legs and ten centimeters back and front. For a large dog eight centimeters at the leg and twelve centimeters back and front. Yeah. My dog is a very unwilling model but you can get some idea of what the jersey looks like. Um, if you want to cut away a bit at the back of the neck, you can and make it a little more round. My dog thanking me for his beautiful new jacket.